Yeah, yeah the thing about it, conditioning, it wasn't any trying to win the game or anything like that. They needed, we was shooting for 28 to 30 minutes, and we've got uh, 28 and 27 for DeMar and 30 for Terrence and uh, 21 for JV. But uh, we, got, we had to get them some minutes for con game conditioning to get them used to going past that 18 and 20 mark. Um, so that's what we were shooting for more than anything. And the worst thing to do, I didn't want to get anybody hurt, but we needed the game conditioning. What did you like anything about the start? I mean, they no, nothing about the start. I liked the third quarter okay. where we come out, we got 11 straight stops in the third quarter, and that's where we got to play defense. We screwed around the first half. Uh, they got uh, you know offensive boards, whatever they want to on the boards. They just pounded us and um, you know decided to come out in the third quarter and, and uh, play defense the way we we're capable of playing defense. And if we we're serious about winning, uh, we got to play defense like that or it's going to be a, a long season. Is that Jonas the gave up you gave them in the half? Is that pardon? the message you gave them at the half? They came out a lot different. Say, well, they, uh, the message I gave them at the half, is we're looking for two bigs to rebound. No matter who it is, I don't care who it is. And uh, hopefully that's what they got the message. And again, that's, that's going to be the message the entire year. But again, it's not just the big guys. The guards got to come in and rebound also. They got to come in and gang rebound. Uh, Kyle Lowry is one of our leading rebounds at seven. So, um, you know, that's that's come, you know, our bigs got to come in and, and do a job. I don't know if we miss time in the jumps or because we're right there and the ball falls between the legs and they get it. So, uh, you know, a lot of goes into it, but it, it's more of a five man job than it is big men. But our big men have to start the fight in there. Specifically, Jonas uh, didn't play much in the first half. Were you happy with the way he bounced back? He bounced first? back in the third quarter and did what he's supposed to do is rebound. And, that, you know, it's no punishment. It, the key is it, our, his job is to rebound and protect the pain. And, and Amir's also. I thought he and Amir both came back in the third quarter and played the way they're capable of playing. And uh, we got to have that. And again, I, it's not, you know, the development is over, it's about production. And uh, especially in the paint on the boards. Mello got off to that quick start. It seems like James kind of slowed him down a little bit. What were your impressions of him? James played one of his best games. He didn't score a point. And he played probably one of his most solid games, other than maybe a couple of take attack fouls he had. But I thought he had, you know, he had what, uh, five rebounds and, and no points. But, there, you know, he played as probably as solid a basketball that wins. Uh, you know, the way we want to win. And, and I commend him for that. And people look at his score and say, hey, he didn't score a point. It has nothing to do with the way he played. He played solid, played, you know, played under control and did a big time job. How do you feel about your stars out playing the stars on, on the Knicks out there? We're not out there trying to outplay. I'm a, I was worried more about conditioning. Uh, final score is irrelevant, you know, and uh, the key thing is I wanted to get them conditioned. I wasn't trying to have stars out playing stars or anything like that. So it was more about conditioning uh, more than somebody out playing somebody. What do you think of the crowd? Great crowd, unbelievable. I mean, it's a hot crowd. It, it was, it's been that way every year we've been here. I mean, Montreal is a great sports city, uh, the home of Jackie Robinson. You didn't think I knew that, Doug? All right, okay. Um, but, you know, this, this has a history of sports that's uh, second to none and, and has all the respect in the world. I have all the respect in the world for the sports uh, Acumen of of, of uh, Montreal. Did you think the crowd helped out in the final outcome of the game with that? Yeah, it did. It, it did. It, it, you know, it was a great crowd. We knew we had a home court. Um, you know, somebody forgot to tell the Knicks that because because <laughs> they played they played well and they're going to be a tough team. I mean, Carmelo's a tough team, tough player. Um, you know, when he gets going, you know, there's not one person that can guard him. And, um, you know, they just have an outstanding offensive team that once they pick up the triangle, it's going to be lights out because it's, it, fits, it fits them. And unfortunately for us, it fits them. Same old Lou Williams in the fourth quarter? Well, Lou played. Uh, again, wanted to get him some conditioning. Uh, for, you know, he got his minutes in, his 19 to 20 minutes. And that's what we needed. We needed game conditioning. I mean, we beat each other up in practice so much. You know, the, and then we've cut minutes back looking at different players and everything like that. So. Um, that was the only purpose of our guys playing extended minutes tonight, not trying to win a game or trying to, because exhibition, you can take this record and, and uh, you know, I can't say what I want to say, but, you know, you can you do what you ever want to with the paper because the exhibition doesn't mean anything except for our conditioning and our timing and our rhythm that it gave us. Thank All right. You, Thank you. Okay. Thank you.